Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a Tibetan staple and it's for Tsampa and Tibetan butter tea. Now this was requested many, many, many times by lovely Nikki. Nikki, thank you so much for suggesting this and for persevering and suggesting this over and over and over again that I make this. I've been wanting to make it, but I was missing a piece of equipment and now that I have it, I can make it. So today I'm going to be preparing champa, which is a staple of the Himalayan region, including Tibet. And it is composed of roasted barley flour. And today I'm going to be combining it with Tibetan butter tea. And you can have it a couple different ways. The consistency can be adjusted to your liking. It can be very solid, almost like a dough and eaten with other dishes as a carbohydrate. Or it can be thinned out a little bit more, so it has more the consistency of porridge. So I'm going to be trying both of those today. So in this bowl I've got whole pearled barley. And I found this in the grain section at the grocery store. My mom used to make soup and she would add a handful of pearl barley to it. And it has a wonderful texture. It's kind of bouncy and kind of slightly mucilaginous. It sounds strange, but it's absolutely delicious. So to learn the process of how to roast the barley, I watched several YouTube videos and I will put all the links down in the description box in case you're interested. So we're going to be using a very interesting technique and that involves a wok. And now I'm gonna add some sand and sifted so I wouldn't have any big pieces of stone. So I watched another video where instead of sand, you can also use salt. But since sand seemed more traditional, that's what I'm using today. Of course, we're not gonna be consuming the sand. We're just using the sand to roast the barley and then we'll sift and separate the sand from the barley afterwards. So we're gonna get this nice and hot. We're gonna add our pearled barley. And in the videos I saw, they just toss this. And I'm gonna attempt to do that over here. Pretty great. So I'm gonna use this a little bit to stir it from the top. I'm beginning to smell the barley toasting. It smells great. It's got a nice kind of nutty bread-like smell. Now, some of you mentioned this in my Navajo coffee video that I did recently. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down below. And in that video, I roasted wheat flour and combined that with coffee to make a very thick kind of porridge coffee. So this is similar because we're toasting a grain and we're going to be using it as a thickener in combination with tea instead of coffee. So keep tossing. I've got this little sifter here, my hot barley. So easy. Next we're going to mill this, but we have to let this completely cool first. So I'm going to be using my Vitamix. It has a motor that's powerful enough to grind this into flour. Now I've read there's a special pitcher that's made for grinding your own flours. It's supposed to vortex the grains more vertically, but for this small amount I've read using the original pitcher is fine. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I just recently got this machine and yeah, I mean, it made quick work of that barley and it's completely flour, amazing. Alrighty, so now we're ready to prepare the tea. I've got a pot here and I'm gonna add a little more than two cups of water. It's about 500 milliliters. And just bring this up to a boil. And you need a specific type of tea leaves to make this tea. And I ordered mine from Kucha House of Tea. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in learning more about this tea. I was a little bit disappointed because when I ordered this tea, it pictured an actual brick and I was hoping to flake the tea off the brick itself, but alas, it's already been flaked for me. But let me show you what it looks like. So here it is. It smells lovely. It smells a bit like leather. So here's the tea. And it comes in these very large pieces. I only need about a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna break up the tea into the water. And then we're gonna simmer this for five minutes. Polcha or Tibetan tea is a huge part of the Tibetan diet. I'm gonna turn this down. 
And what's really interesting about this tea is that it contains salt, so it's going to be savory rather than sweet, which I think is usually what we think of on the Western perspective of what tea is. It sometimes has sugar or some milk. This will contain some milk, but a significant amount of salt. So I'm very, very curious to see what this is like. So we're going to reduce this heat and allow it to simmer for five minutes, and then we'll strain out the tea leaves. Now I'm going to turn this off. smells lovely. So the next step would traditionally be done in a wooden churner. You're combining the hot tea with butter and sometimes milk. And now what we're trying to do is create an emulsion. In modern days, many people substitute using a churner with using a blender. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So into the pitcher of the blender, we're going to add our hot, freshly brewed tea. Traditionally, you would use yak butter, but I'm substituting European style butter, which tends to have a little less water than American style butters and has a beautiful yellow color. So I'm gonna add that. Half a teaspoon of salt. Boop. And then we're gonna add a half cup of milk. Where's my lid? Here we go. Okay, our tea's ready. Now we're gonna pour it into our awaiting teapot. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay. In a bowl, first we're gonna take a little nub of butter along with some of our roasted barley flour. And then using our fingers, we're gonna just knead this together. I can already smell the nuttiness of the roasted barley flour. So at this point, it looks like this. Now we're gonna add a little bit of our hot butter tea, and then mix this into a dough. So let's have some with some tea. Alrighty, let's give our butter tea a taste. Cheers. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I've never had anything like that before. The salt completely changes the tea. It makes it like a, a broth, but it's milky and rich. You can really taste the butter and the milk in there. Oh, it's delicious. I love it. It really turns my idea of what tea is upside down because of the inclusion of the salt in there. It's so savory. It's like a soup or a broth. Okay, let's have some with the sampa. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm! Mmm. I understand why it's essential to toast the barley now. The toasting of the barley gives it such a flavor. It's so popcorn-y. And nutty. The consistency actually reminds me a lot of a protein bar. From my understanding, in terms of hospitality, if you're hosting someone, you're always replenishing their butter tea with more tea. So let's make another version of champa. This time we're gonna take our bowl of tea and we're gonna add the barley flour to it. And this is gonna have more of a porridge-like texture. All right, let's give that a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. Same nutty flavor. This has a much more familiar kind of texture. If you think of cream of wheat, or porridge or oatmeal, steel cut oatmeal. This is much more similar. It has that kind of same thick consistency. But between the two consistencies, I think I actually prefer this dough-like version more. And perhaps that's because this had a little additional butter in it. It tastes richer and has a more pronounced nuttier flavor. I think if I added a little bit of butter to this, 
that would round it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That little addition of butter just rounds it out, fills it out, makes it more flavorful. But I think still, I prefer the dough version to the porridge version. I really like the contrast of textures when you just have the tea. And sampa like this. Mm -hmm. And Tibetan butter tea is delicious. Once you get used to the salt in there, it's absolutely addictive. The flavor of butter and tea together is just so lovely. Love that. Alrighty, so there you have it. Tibetan butter tea with samba. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs>